Welcome everyone. Today I will show you how the Lenovo USI Pen works on the Lenovo Chromebook Duet. I want to show how the precision is, how the latency of this pen in this tablet is, especially if you are using it for, take note, for taking the notes. Today I have four apps here that I opened that they are frequently used by students or different, for different purposes. I have the Microsoft OneNote, a Squid app, Evernote, and uh, Google Keep. And I will also show how it looks like in the Chrome Canvas, how it's working. Let me open the uh, first the Chrome Canvas. No, it's icon. So now I will show it how the precision is kind of. If you want to write something or draw something, you can see in the Chromebook. In the Google Canvas app, it works frankly good. The latency is also really low. So when I try to write something, let's see how it would work. Uh, test. So you can see it works good actually. I will see how the pressure changes. There is not that much of a difference when I push it or when I don't push it. You can see it, the differences are... I cannot see actually any difference between them. Also, when I do it from the side, there's not that much difference. So you can say that there is no pressure sensitivity in this app. Next, I will go to the OneNote app. And I will try first to draw something to see how it is. You can see that there is a latency here. I could feel that it's much more compared to the canvas app. So it may even not feel as smooth as before. So if I write a task, you can see there is this really big delay here. So I would not recommend this pen for using this OneNote app. Also, the sensitivity, you can see it. When I do it sideways, it doesn't register anything. That's also interesting, actually. To take into the consideration, also, when you push it. Yeah, here you can see when you push it a bit harder, you can see it gets thicker, the line. So there is a little bit of pressure sensitivity here. The next, I will choose the squid up. First, I will try to draw something. Works perfectly, similar to Canvas. So I will try to push it and try it. Yeah, you, you see also differences in the thickness of the lines when you push it from the side. Yeah, you can, this is just a, actually in the script works also similar to the Canvas app, but also much better with the pressure sensitivity works much better here, I say. Yeah, this is much better experience. Well, frankly, it works better than the others that I tested to know. Then Evernote for drawing works okay. There is no sensitivity of the pressure again. You can see it, it doesn't register it. It doesn't matter how I push it, it's just the same thickness. And I will write something. There's a big delay also here. So I would not recommend it also for taking, using this app. Last but not least, the Google Keep app for drawing. There is also pressure sensitivity, but it doesn't work properly. I am pushing it, but it still registers the thin line. It's the how it works is completely different in this app, as you expect you should normally accept. It's a bit weird experience. Also, there is a delay here. Now, this works a bit strange here, how the thickness is registered. You need to figure that out, kind of. So I would recommend writing with the USI pen in the Squid app. It worked much better than others. Definitely, this is a really smooth experience. Thanks for watching, 
and hope to see you in the next video.